and welcome to the Revival News. I'm Abby Reinga, and with me today I have Morgan Edwards. Welcome, Morgan. Thank you so much. And we have a live studio audience, so welcome to all of them as well. And we are here to tell about a Gaby Initiative update. So I just want to share a little bit about that. For all of you students, many of you are in that area, and as it says on here, 28% of our CLI U.S. students are in the Gaby area. So Morgan, what are those states that are included in that? Uh, so we got Georgia, Tennessee, Alabama, South Carolina, North Carolina, Louisiana, and Mississippi, and Florida as well. So it, once again, a huge population of our students, yeah. 3,221 of them. And so it's been really cool. So share a little bit about the growth that you've seen as this program has started in that area. Uh, well, when I first came on with um, CLI and they first launched the program, so many students reached out and were just like so happy to, you know, figure out what it was about and to be a part of it. And at that time, we had 34 mentor ministers, which is students who are willing to mentor other students, um, you know, that are first getting started and stuff. And now that number has doubled to 76. Uh, we have people getting ordained, um, just cr like great stuff happening. There's cultivation and stuff happening as well. So I'm really excited for it. Yeah, I am as well. We actually have a video from um, one of the students in that area, and she's actually your friend as well, who yes. has now started to travel with her to the event. So it's really cool to see that she has signed up at CLI and become a part of it. Hello, my name is Kiana Jordan, and I currently attend at a university in Georgia, but I also attend CLI. And I'm 22 years old, and I want to do ministry work on the side. I'm actually in the program, and I wanted to see the difference between secular education and the difference between a, a school of Jesus. Of what I've seen is how Jesus is talked about in, in everything we do in CLI. Like we talk about salvation, your calling, and it just talk about your personal walk with God and how they can help you perfect your walk. So I love what she says, just a quick testimony of someone who is also um, taking classes at CLI as well as um, studying at another university, just to kind of see the comparison there. Um, we also have done some luncheons for this yes. as well, which has been really cool. And you just had the Mississippi one. You drove back from it, and then the next day she flew out here for this event and some further training and work that we're doing. So tell us a little bit about what that event was like. Oh, it was great. It was really different. It's just, like, really cool to see in each state and each area. You know, there's different cultures and stuff, but just how everyone is, you know, coming together for the Lord. Um, so in this picture, um, it's a mom. Um, her son and her daughter, and they're all studying at CLI um, for the calling that God has given them to start a house church. So it's, it's just really cool to see that. Yeah. yeah, super neat. And there's your friend that just talked. She yeah, that's Kiana so as cool. well in the picture. Yeah. <laughs> and then we also had a Fort Lauderdale event that you were at, which was yes. a lot of fun. Um, and Steve Elsinger went with you, and it was, it was a very powerful event. And then I got the opportunity, there I am, to be at the Clearwater St. Petersburg event that we've had. So, so far, we've had three um, Gaby luncheons, and it was so much fun. You know, I was just so humbled by that event. The first person that got up there that was a student, he has um, actually like a shoe ministry that he's doing. And it's just really cool to see that. But the kind of pain they had to go through when his mother, um, when he was five, she was murdered. And it was just one of those sad things immediately. It just hits you. But yet, here's this person that is positive, is studying, and is going for it, and has started their own ministry. So what a powerful event to be a part of. How can you tell which rabbits are getting old? Anybody know? Look for the gray hair. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Pretty clever. <laughs> Go ahead, Morgan. What does a baby computer call his father? Anyone? Data. <laughs> there you go, there you go. All right, guys, there you got your corny jokes of the day. Um, so thank you guys for all tuning in to this segment of the Revival News, giving an update about the Gay B Atlanta, Greater Atlanta Biblical Initiative. God bless. <laughs>